We are back, our end of season review. We've only advanced one day for that, but uh, let's take a look at what's been going on. So end of season review, our new arrivals coming in. These were transfers in, and let's sort them out by rating. So Antonio Falla, signing of the season, comes in from Montpellier, $28 million, 20 appearances, four goals, seven assists. I think we'll call that a win, and I only get a B minus. Ugh. Frank Matthew, 23 years old, uh, did not play uh, two games for us. He came in on a free. Uh, and then Ivan, Ivan Serrer, 12 and a quarter million from Boca. Very good signing there. Neil Lynch started 29 games for us, 10 and a quarter million. Nothing wrong with that. Osin Doyle was our key midfielder this year. Got him on a free. $41 million. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Uh, Zhao Kamara, $9.69 million. Uh, he was a reserve for us behind Fala. Abwander, $20.99 million, 38 starts. He became a team leader for us, at least in playing time. Uh, DeVos, a backup goalkeeper, $7.5 million. Johan Bowden, 22 years old, for $3 million. Uh, Franjo Krisnik, ten and a quarter million. Radek Lukas, a 19-year-old center back, twenty-two thousand, future player. Gallardo, twenty-six and a half million. Got him in the midfield window from Chelsea. Uh, only played one match. You know, we'll have to kind of see what he does next season. Mario Reinhardt, attacking midfielder, one hundred and thirty thousand. Karaman, a on a free. And Sean, another keeper for $80,000. Players leaving us this past year. Martin Arndt, one of our strikers. He goes off for six and a quarter million. Scores 11 goals for Nantes. Takahashi picks us up $10.5 million. 16 games, two goals, five assists. Gerardo Dira to $8.28 million. 12 goals for his new club, Famalco. Famalco. Uh, Stratura, center back, gets 453000 Amara, $11 million, plays 18 games. Abbas, hey Fred, how you doing, man? <laughs> Abbas goes off for 9.2. And Yopek picks up $42.6 million for Bayern. Five starts, nine off the bench. And then Gislaine, another former starter for us, goes to ask Coley, uh, for almost $15 million. He starts 21. Quang Hyun goes off to FCN in the Bundesliga, $17.98 million. Only nine appearances for them. Stim Tim Stover, one of our older players, $4.7 million. I was really happy to move him on. But he starts 28 matches for Real Hispalis. Morena, backup goalkeeper. 10.76 million. Sam, 16.24. That was in the midseason window. He only started five matches. And then a couple of younger players, 3 million for Ecker and 3.5 million for Comenda. So that is the moves in and out for the year. Moments to remember, we were supposed to reach the second knockout round of the Euro Cup. Well, I guess let's look at the Bundesliga. Uh, top half, we finished fourth, 93% possession with 48,000 fans. Cernan with 18 goals in the league. Over in the Euro Cup, reached the second round. We won it, 93% uh, uh, attendance in the cup matches, 11 goals in those, and that was astounding. And over in the Polkel, they wanted us to reach the quarterfinal. Uh, we got to the third round. And Aslani and Cernan both with four goals apiece in that one. There's your moments to remember. A 6-0 win over FCN. I would have thought the Liverpool match was uh, the one to remember. 3-1 win over Freiburg in the Pokal. And a 3-2 defeat to Bayern. That was in March. That was down the stretch. We are four and a half star currently. No changes there, at least not yet. I think the change actually comes... Uh, in a little while. No new sponsorship deals. Again, I think that comes a little bit later. Uh, but overall sponsorships were up about a half million. Uh, we went from 3 million to 13 million in broadcast revenue, mostly thanks to the Euro Cup. 4.1 to 4.8 million in corporate and hospitality. Competition prize money went up about $40,000. 
and about a half million more in match day commercial. Top sellers, we sold over a half a million jerseys. That's incredible. 15 Gallardo, 42 Serrere, 16 Hunter, 10 Aslani, and 36 Doyle. I am stunned that Robert Cernan is not on that list. Stunned. <laughs> we lined up with Cernan and Aslani up top. Serrere, Takahashi, Doyle, and Fala in the mid. Krisnik, Abwander, Lynch, Gunderson on the back line. Janderson in the goal. Very good season for everybody. Even Krisnik and Abwander were just under that seven threshold. Very good season. Uh, manager of the year, I think we said we finished second. Aslani is the fans player of the year. Cernan, the young player of the season. Follow the signing of the season. The goal of the season is Osen Doyle. Robert Cernan, the top goal scorer with 18. Doyle with nine assists to lead the club. And five players of the matches for Aslani. A 7.2 rating for him as well. Euro Cup player of the season was Aslani and the golden boot. How Cernan doesn't win player of the season, I don't know. But he does win the Euro Cup Golden Boot. And record breakers for us this year. Robert Cernan, 33 goals and four goals in one match. Gunderson, worst discipline, 19 yellows and one red card. Pretty much everything that we've already seen there. And there we go. Uh, let's see. Club Vision next year, they want us to continue working within the payroll budget, finish in the top half, so not mid-table this year, uh, reach the group stage of the Champions League, which we should have already done, and the following year to qualify for the Euro Cup and then Champions League the year after that. Uh, we'll accept that. Anything crazy up here? Attacking, entertaining, high tempo? Nope, that's good. So... It was to finish in the top half and the group stage. Top half, Euro Cup. Kind of got to glance through these and see. Uh, yeah, top half. All right. Sort of reaction. And we'll be looking to get competitive proper. Yep. Satisfied. And there you go. You guys go off on your vacation. All right. Let's see what else is going. They're out. We get to pick our training camp. Where do we want to go? Austria, Italy, Switzerland. You know what? Let's go to Italy. Just because. I have no idea where any of those towns are. I don't recognize any of the names. As Lonnie is the Euro Cup player of the season, we're going to congratulate him on the award. Very, very good. Cernan, Golden Boot. All right, there is the Euro Cup squad of the season. Pretty much a clean sweep for us. Janderson in goal, Abwander, Gunderson, Lynch on the back line. Doyle in the midfield, Cernan and Aslani up top. Really not a surprise our midfield didn't get it. Uh, definitely one of the weak points of our team. So uh, we will move ahead now to the transfers. But I wanted to let you know, I have put in an application. Don't know what's going to happen with it. I just put it in earlier, right before I started recording. Uh, don't know if I'm the leader yet. I did not. I did not declare interest or anything else. So we'll check that out. Well, there's been a change of plans. Unlike the last time when I left uh, Volin Lusk, I did not leave right before the start of the season. I actually took this job very early in the process. Uh, Leicester's a club I actually like in real life. Not being from England, I don't have the animosity towards other clubs outside of the one club you root for. There are some clubs that I obviously don't like. Uh, they wear red uniforms in particular. Uh, but Leicester's a club that, honestly, as a Leeds fan, there's no animosity towards Leicester. Uh, I've always been, I became a big fan of Casper Schmeichel's uh, in goal. 
couple of world like last World Cup, maybe two World Cups back. I don't remember, but you know, I saw him in goal for for Denmark, isn't it? I think he's from Denmark. Um, honestly, at that time, I didn't even realize that he had played for Leeds United. Um, just found that out here in the last couple of years, so that was interesting. But I like the way Lester does things. I know there's a lot of comparisons between Leeds and Lester right now in real life that Leeds are going to try to follow the Lester model where they realize they'll have to be a selling club and build from there. So, you know, you know, buy low, sell high, reinvest with multiple low, lower cost players and then develop and then sell for, you know, 80, 90, 100 million dollars, whatever it is. So we have accepted the job at Leicester. I have not looked at anything yet. So they play at King Power still, 42,000 seat capacity built at the turn of the century in 2002. They finished fifth and losing in the championship playoffs last year. Uh, they'll enter the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup this year. Pretty decent club history. Uh, of course, they do have the Premier League win in real life back in 2016-17. Uh, let's see. I need to get kind of get in and look at these loan players, see if I want to renew any of them, if I can renew any of them. We'll do a dive into the club probably in the first game episode i think what we need to do here is i need to get into the transfers kind of set the team up and we will do that off camera no sense in showing all that so let me get into all that and we will kind of see what's going on when we come back taking a look at transfers and whatnot Oh my goodness, it has been a busy, busy offseason. Here's a quick look at our friendlies, 4-0, 3-0 wins, a 3-1 loss to Barcelona, 2-1 loss to Bristol City, and a 1-0 victory over Udinese, uh, Udinese I guess. Uh, they were actually a club that had a job opening, but I wasn't interested, didn't apply for it or anything. We're going to open up with West Ham today for our one match to open the season. But first, we have to do some transfer business. So let's jump in here. Well, let's do transfers, and then we'll look at the club. So they did make a couple of uh, sales late in the year. $52 million for Lewis Anthony. I did not see that one because I was already gone. 26-year-old midfielder, valued at $41.5. I don't think I would have made that deal. Uh, so kind of disappointed in that. Well, actually, 52. Yeah, I probably would have. And Stephen Mukiji, uh, 16 million going to Blackburn. He's valued at 20. I'm kind of disappointed, but I can understand maybe. So uh, anyway, that's the moves they made before I came on board. Uh, we did not sell anybody else. They were going to. They had pending offers on both of our starting center backs, and we immediately canceled those. Uh, one of the two got uh, got upset at me and said he wanted to move to a bigger team due to the relegation that we had suffered, I guess, a year ago, which we'll look at. Um, and I said, well, if they meet the valuation, he goes, what are you looking at? And I said, $60 million. He goes, I'm cool with that. And he's valued at 24, but he's he's young. He's only 26 years old, and he's really good. So I think 60 is a fair offer. He's English. No reason I shouldn't get that. All the offers are coming in between 16 and 26, so only $2 million over his value, and I'm rejecting every single one of them. Uh, hopeful, the goal is to get back to the Premier, and then he wants to stay with us because, you know, just because. So the guys that we have brought in, uh, the first thing I did is I went in and I renewed two loans. So Jamie... Romain, Romain from Chelsea, 23 years old, can play all the way across the attacking front and central mid. Three-star current, four-star potential, valued at $10.5 million. He's a pretty solid player when I looked at him. Last year, uh, 28 matches, 18 starts, three goals, and uh, one assist. Played a 6.84, and I said, you know what? He can probably do the business for us. Same thing with Stuart Carpenter of Man City, 21 years old, came was here last year, 38 matches, 9 starts, 29 appearances off the bench, 
10 goals and played a 6.95. So I think he's going to be just fine for us. Uh, then we got busy, and you'll see a couple from my old club. But first we brought in Jordan Menza from Norwich for $18 million. That's going to go up to $20 million. He's an attacking winger, right winger. Really good. 24-year-old Englishman, three-and-a-half star. Pretty maxed out right now, but he is left-footed. So looking at an inverted position for him. Just physicals are all there. His mentals are really good. Vision, off the ball, uh, work rate, passing technique. Everything's there. 17 dribbling. I was really happy to get him. We had over a million, uh, over a hundred million dollars. I, I think it was a, was it a hundred million? Yeah, it was over a hundred million. Still have 73 million left, and we're almost three million under the wage budget. So he came on board. Uh, I went over and I did uh, got scouting reports, team reports on uh, all the Frankfurt uh, clubs. And Robert Cernan was transfer listed. He's valued at twenty million. Uh, we pick him up for twelve and a quarter, which he was listed for. Don't know why they would get rid of the uh, leading one of the leading Bundesliga strikers, but he was just. Uh, I guess they were listening to the assistant manager that he was third or fourth choice. So we've signed him. We're going to have to see how he does. He's certainly going to be in the mix. Uh, he's probably going to be third on the depth chart, it appears, but we know how good he can be. Uh, we brought in Frank Matthews, a younger player, uh, for $2 million. He's valued at five and a half now. Only three star potential, but we needed some depth. And I'm looking at a tactic that'll play with a defensive mid. So I needed some depth there as well. He's really well rounded. You know, just never was needed at Eintracht. We got him on a free there. Uh, he went out on loan last season and played well. So we pick him up for $2 million, and I think it's going to be a decent signing. Uh, Danny Parsons cost us $11 million. We needed a right back really badly, and uh, there were slim pickings. You know I don't use the whole scout everybody. I only look at players that we have scouted personally. So I only had about eight right backs on my scouted list anyway. Uh, Parsons is a 26-year-old Englishman. He's capped at the U20 level. He's maxed out. He's just an average player, but he's well-rounded. He can do the job. He could even slide into center back as depth and play well there if we need him to. So I'm looking at him to be in the right back competition. Uh, did decide we had three keepers. One was our starter. Two were one and a half or two star. And I said, I need somebody else. This guy drove a hard bargain. I had to promise him first choice. He probably won't be, but he is pretty good. So, you know, if he, but you know, if he leaves, I won't be upset down the road. We've got him at least for the year. He only cost us 475000 And then we went out and touched another loan. Felix, uh, five-star potential. He's another right back. And so that's going to be my starter at right back this year. And uh, Parsons will be the reserve. We do have another player there if we look at the transfer center. So Luke Turner, that's one of our goalkeepers. He's got a couple of offers. Uh, Manu, Manu Sakis is our other right back. He's 29. He is good. He'd probably start for us, but we got an offer for up to $42 million for him. Most of that's going to be guaranteed money. Um, so I, he's 29. I said, yeah, we'll take that. And I, I'll, I'll make do with the two guys that I just signed. Um, we also have an offer for one of our young players, Liam Waite, just not going to make the team. Uh, Ramsey and McNeil are our two center backs that we've turned down. Uh, you can see 29 million. I think he's valued at 26, 27. So yeah, just barely over his value. And I'm like, I'm not going to sell you. And this is our starting striker, Savio Gomez. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Weird thing was after we signed Cernan, he was picked as the leader to finish as the goal scoring champion in the in the championship this year. So go figure. Taking a look at the club info, uh, we can take a look at how we finished up here. Uh, you can see they were a Premier League club, got relegated back in 36 37. They bounced around the championship, got promoted in what's that, 46 47? Actually, yeah. And uh 
they've just basically been bouncing up and down, coming off a relegation two years ago, 52-53, and finished fifth and lost in the playoffs last year. So they do expect us to go up looking at the club vision. Uh, they want us to win promotion. Uh, don't care if it's winning the championship. They just want us a top two finish, uh, reach the fourth round of the FA Cup, third round of the Carabao Cup. They already had youth facility and training facility improvements in place, so that's good. Uh, I've got a C-plus grade. Uh, they're happy with most of those signings. Nothing to be unhappy about. Uh, finances, again, we are sitting on $284 million and some change in the bank. So we've got a lot of money. That's great. Uh, we had a $120 million transfer budget. We still have $73 million left. We're spending $7.5 million. I'm $3.2 million. $3.3 million under the wage bill. But you can see we lost $63 million last year. So we're going to lose a big chunk of change, right? That's just going to happen. Um, nothing we can do about that. The goal is now to get back in the Premier as quick as we can and establish ourselves there. So again, going with the Bielsa train of thought, uh, this is a club that is a premier level club. They've been on hard times. They've been bouncing around as a yo-yo team. They are rich. They have national reputation. We're working on the facilities because those have gone by the wayside. Uh, but they're still playing in the King Power, 42,000 seats. And where does it tell me? Uh, 26,720 on the season ticket holders. So we're pretty good there. No favored personnel. It's going to be a little hard to break into that. In fact, I want to go back to Eintracht Frankfurt real quick and see how we, as Lonnie had made it as favored personnel. Yeah, we never cracked that. That's disappointing. Uh, <laughs> that's just, just disappointing. Uh, anyway, so that is what we're going with. Let's take a look at, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Here we go. All right, so we're going to be going with Gomez Santos up top, Romain and Henson's on the wing, Cernan in the middle. We're retraining him as a shadow striker. Nagami and Wheel in the mid, Rush, Corbett, Lind Lindorfo, Felix on the back line, and Van Essen in goal. Let me make sure Ramsey and McNeil are injured and suspended. So, yeah, Lindorfo and Corbett are our next two guys up. Make sure they have passing ability, a 12 and a 14. So they can play ball-playing defenders. Uh, we're going to have Parsons, Mensa. Um, those are two new signings. Rollinson's our new goalkeeper signing. Actually, you know what? We're going to give Rollinson the start today. I did promise him first choice. Van Essen, we'll, we'll, we'll let him work it out. We'll see who does well. And let's get to it. Apologies for the uh, going a little long on the episode today, but with the change in jobs, transfers, we kind of had to look at it. And uh, let's see, we're going to pump the fist. Show me what you can do. We're in blue. West Ham are in their red kits or maroon, whatever it's called. Looks like that one went out of play. I don't know if we tipped it. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's encourage the team. We're going with a 4-2-3-1, so a little bit more attacking this year. Nine minutes in, and we have yet to take a shot, so I'm a little nervous about that. And you know me, I'm liable just to scrap all my tactics and change over. All right, that one goes over. First shot of the game, and the season goes high and wide. Nothing wrong with that. I would like to see a highlight, though, from us. <laughs> All right, there's a header out. Uh, Gomez Santos goes back for it, but can't get there. And what a run out by Rollinson. Throws it out to Rush. Quick distribution. There's some space out to Romaine. Driving up. Oh, he loses it. Goes into the box. Gomez Santos didn't run onto it. Cernan might have run onto that. 
All right, that's a nice, uh, nice development on the play. Finds Rush on the overlap, cross in. And there's a shot. Yao Vitor makes a nice play on that ball. All right, we're going to have to demand a little more here because not too happy with that. All right, there's Cernan, and he takes a crack at it. It does go over the goal, but at least it was in between the posts, right? Rush, long throw, right to Yao Vitor. Easy save there. He lumps it. Rush controls it. Nice job. I'm wondering if any of you guys have done any saves into the future in FM21. You remember we had the issue at Frankfurt that we just weren't getting really large offers? Oh, there's, oh man, he tried to pick out Gomez Santos there. I think Cernan was right behind him. Hmm. Hans Hensons. Come on. All right, we've managed a couple of shots here. Knocked out. Oh, there's a volley. You know what? I do want to check something. All right, I'm going to change Romain to an inverted winger. Have him cutting inside because he is right-footed. Oh, there's a stabbing tackle by Romain. Rush cuts that one off. Oh, lucky, lucky. Dangerous. Uh-oh, and it looks like... Uh, I can't read his name. It was It's Weed, Wade, something like that. Wheel, wheel, that's it. Um, all right. They haven't even stopped the clock. What is the deal? A potential knee injury. Uh, we are going to bring Kevin Day, 24 years old. We'll bring him on. And then Day, we'll make him a box to box. Hopefully that save comes off right away. I'm save. Sub comes right off. There we go. Hopefully that's not a major injury, but knee, he could be out for a while. All right, Cernan, he breaks. Oh, boy, he's got some pace, doesn't he? And it goes right to Vitor. Good run, though. God, I want to give, I want to do what I did at Eintracht and put him up top at the number nine and just see what happens. But the other guy is so good. Don't know how. Why Rush did not try to shoot that ball? Romain with another shot there. Vitor with a nice save. Seven shots. All right, Henson's. Anybody going to give him an outlet? Doesn't look like it. All right, he lumps it back. Felix, our new right back, squared in. And a couple of deflections. Nagami, not a very good effort there. Come on, boys. There's Henson's. He's got some pace on him out there. There's a cross in. Back out. There's a cross. And it's Romain, but he can't find the net. All right, let's demand more again. Oh, and there it is. Gomez Santos. There's the first goal for me at Leicester. And the first goal of the season for us. And we're up 1-0. We'll take that. Long throw. The keeper missed it. And looks like uh, the center back went to go clear it. And Santos just got, the, got to it first with foot and plowed it into the net. Very, very nice work by our number nine. There's a good ball out. Flick on header. I like that play, but nobody's making a run because he's playing up top by himself. Oh, good stab by Rush. What a defensive play there, huh? All right, there's Day who came in for the injury. 
tackled away. Henson's, and it's blocked. Day picks it up. We're looking dangerous. And we're going to get the corner out of that. Romaine plays it short. And there's a cross in Sten Henson's back of the net. Two goals in two minutes. His first goal of the season. And we have got to be liking life right here. 14 shots, eight on target. Another long throw. Vitor makes that save. And we've got a 1.86 XG, so it's not like we're overachieving here. We're, we're expected to have right around two goals. Good block. Henson outlet pass to Cernan. Day's giving him a runner. Gomez Santos goes outside. Oh, look at that. Cernan and Gomez can't put it away. I want to change those guys up in the second half, I think. Is that being crazy? Oh, Nagami was going to pass it to, Ro to Roman, but Roman, <laughs> Roman ran away from it. I don't think he expected that. They do get the ball in, and Gomez Santos now has a brace. Watch him. He just runs away from it. Nagami's like, oh, my God, what do I do? Corbett hits it off the woodwork, and Gomez Santos pops it in. Two goals in five minutes for him. Three goals in five minutes as a team. Back post, we can't get there. Two minutes of stoppage time. That's due to our injury, I'm pretty sure. All right, they've got a little counter going here. But we are flooding back on defense. That was ugly. Wow, Mehdi Duran just split our back line. And I am not happy with that. Look at this right here, right there. Oh, my goodness. All of our back players were back, and it didn't matter. They gutted us like a fish right there. Gee whiz. There's a shot. Oh, a fingertip save by Yao Vitor. Gives us another corner. This is our ninth of the first half. Rush takes a pop at one. That should get us to the locker room. Looks like a sellout here at King Power. Let's go with outstretched arms. Pleased. They're inspired by my leadership. All those how-to books paid off. I want to try something here. Uh, these guys are support, right? So we're going to take off overlap. Can he pass? He can pass. All right, I'm going to move Cernan up top, put Shanto's back, and start training him as a number 10. And I want to see how they develop. We've already made one sub. Okay, looks like we just made that switch. I really want to just get a feel for what Cernan can do. Oh, there is one other thing I need to change. I forgot. I want to go to mixed crosses. Uh, Gomez Santos is, uh, has a very low jumping reach, so you have to do low crosses for him. But Cernan can do all over the place. He's got a great ability to jump, head the ball. All right. Nagami loses it. Too much dilly-dallying on the ball, fellas. Come on. Corbett. Over the top. There is Cernan, and he Oh, who was offsides? Oh, that's bullshit. Cernan was not offsides. I need a replay there. No replay. All right, somebody tell me if I'm just losing my mind. I thought he got the ball and dribbled through people. Maybe I was wrong. All right, but Cernan showed he had some ability there. Nagami, oh, that was close. Just goes over the mark. 21 shots, 11 on target. 
Let's demand more. Big save by Rollinson. It is going to be a corner for them unless Duran took it out of play. All right. Gomez Santos. Day. Back to Felix. There's a pop. All right. Not seeing a whole lot here. Cernan is not as Lonnie when it comes to that uh, that long throw header that we became all too familiar with. But I think I think Gomez is Gomez Santos is a much better striker than Aslani, to be fair. Cernan, oh, he made the keeper lay out full extension on that one. And it was on target again. I certainly can't complain with the efforts he's getting. You know, he hasn't been he hasn't ooh. That was just a little you ever seen that movie, um, Major League, and uh, the announcer, just a bit outside, you know? <laughs> uh, Gomez Santos was in the way of that one. All right, they're going to reset here. All right, let's look at another sub here. I mean, everybody's playing well, right? Wheels off. Let's bring... Micton is like our he's he's right there with Cernan for striker. Let's bring him in for Henson's. We'll do that. Oh, Micton was a little late getting over to the line there for the free kick. Rollinson makes a nice save. Pretty impressed with some of the saves he's had so far. Micton picks it up. Cernan's looking for a spot in the middle. And he plays it way back. I don't know what that was. And Cernan, there's his first goal. They're not going to take that one off the board. A debut goal. And he has got to be happy with that. And we are, of course, going to watch it. Where's Cernan? Cernan's actually dropped back behind Gomez Santos. But cuts inside, near post, slots at home, beats the keeper. Loving life. And I think he just showed he can play at the in the championship, if nothing else. All right, Romaine is about exhausted. That's okay. Tell you what, we're going to drop back to positive here. There's a shot. They just lump that one up into the stands. Gives up the corner, but that's okay. Cernan with a goal and a goal disallowed today on his debut. I was really happy to get him. I was Again, I was disappointed he was only showing three-star potential, which all, all that means is he's not going to get any better, right? But still. Big tackle by Rush. And Corbett closes him down. Rollinson makes the play. Rush is starting to get tired as well. All right. Who are we going to sub off? We've got quite a few. Uh, potential knee injury for Felix. Well, that makes that decision for me. That's going to bring on Parsons for his debut. I was thinking about going another spot, but, you know, you Got to do what you got to do. Rush on the outside. There's a cross in, and Gomez Santos has his second of the game. Third goal of the season. Actually, that's a hat trick. Yes, a perfect hat trick. Left, right, and a header. Go, go figure. I don't think we can go wrong with these two guys up top. It's really making me wonder if I need to go back to a two-striker system. I'm thinking about it. I'm contemplating it. You know what? We're up 5-1, right? I'm going to make Gomez Santos a poacher and Cernan and a, a, a advanced forward. And we'll see how they look here in the last 9-10 minutes of the game. We'll do away with the number 10. We'll let them both push up top. Oh, that was a poor header effort there. 
crossed in a header. Big save by Rollinson. He is looking really solid today. All right. Can we do anything? I would like to see this work out. Knocked away. Romain was not paying attention. There's a tackle. Nobody gets to it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lindorfo kicked it the wrong way. I would have kicked it with my right foot because you were on that side of the goal. But 20, 30 shots, 15 of them, a full 50% on target. 4.32 on the XG, five goals into the back of the net. I am pretty happy with the effort here, all things considered. There's a header that goes over. We should be in the waning seconds, and there we go. Final whistle blows. Player of the match, Gomez Santos with the hat trick. Cernan, not to be outdone for sure. Uh, outstretched arms. Um, a good win, boys. Well done. Some complacency. But I think that is a good way to kick off our campaign. Top of the table, plus four goal differential. What was our... Uh, I'm assuming we had a... Where do I go? Oh, here we go. Don't it, doesn't it show it? In? Oh, 42,000. Capacity crowd. Gotta like that. All right. Felix is going to miss a week. Wheel is going to miss a week. Gomez Santos. We're going to put the arm around him. We're going to try to get, you know, we need to get these guys built up on their morale. Felix, a good debut. Cernan made his debut, got on the score sheet. Pretty happy with that. Look at that. Shrewsbury Town up in the championship. I think we have to look and see where they came from. I just wanted to finish out the day. We'll take a look at Shrewsbury Town. So they were League One. They got promoted. Wow, they actually finished fourth in the championship, but they've been near the bottom last couple of years. But they had a good three-year three, three year run top of the table there. So they're doing pretty well. Kudos to them. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think of the transfer moves. What do you think I should do with Cernan and Gomez Santos? There's him, and boy, he looks good. My God, he looks good. Cernan, we know he doesn't look quite as impressive. And I don't think I could play him on the wing because he just can't cross the ball. Gomez can cross the ball. I could train him to be a winger. Something to think about. Well, I'll look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about that. We will look at that next episode. Uh, let's kind of get down Salford. Why don't we come back for uh, Portsmouth highlights and the Birmingham match on TV? That's where we'll come back next episode, so I hope you tune in for that. Guys, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell because that keeps you up to date for all of my daily Football Manager 21 content uploads Monday through Saturday. Appreciate you so much. Take care. Bye.